Hi. Last time we talked about the conceptual map and the logical options in three areas of philosophy in epistemology, metaphysics, and ethics. And in ethics, we didn't really get to talk about the good, the end in itself. I left things hanging. I did that on purpose because at this point, we've gone through a number of videos on the topic of thinking and what is it and how do we do it and what our blocks are thinking. But I want you to think about whether you need a teacher at this point to help you to think. What is the purpose of a teacher in the role of thinking and thinking through these basic questions? Do you have someone in your life who can do this with you? So remember, professors profess what they love and they love their students and they try to help the students to uh, become better thinkers and learners. So what, uh, what do you need in a good professor? So I'm going to give you some tips what you should look for. You should look for someone who will hold you accountable for answering these questions with good arguments. Do you know someone who can help you answer the questions? Um, how do I know? What is, what is eternal? What is the good life? Especially with what is the good life and how do I live it? Um, a professor or a teacher in your life should help you raise your consciousness level so that you are aware of new things you've never thought about before. Now here's a little bit of advice I'd like to give you as a former student to my current students. The questions that you learn in your education are one of the number one things you can uh, really benefit from. Consciousness raising questions where you have to think through new things. I know this can be scary, but you know what? I've hope, I hope I have given you a map and a method for thinking through these hard things, these new questions you've never thought about before. So a professor should help you in raising your consciousness. And this is about knowing yourself. Okay, they should help you with self-examination, help you to examine what you believe and why, or to help you gain beliefs that you didn't have before. All right, um, now how do we know ourselves? How do we do that? Um, we, we use the Socratic method, good questions. So Socrates helped his, uh, his followers, his group of people that went around with him. I'm avoiding the word te his students because he claimed he wasn't a teacher. But if you want to use the word students, he used this method of asking questions. And uh, you should find someone who asks questions that make you think and that helps you think through them with good answers. Sometimes uh, what goes by the term critical thinking is really just critical and they don't give you anything constructive. So we need, yes, critical thinking, but we also need constructive thinking. We can't just tear down beliefs. We need to replace bad beliefs with good beliefs or bad thinking with good thinking. Notice I use the word beliefs there. Beliefs are in the area of uh, judgments and judgments are either true or false. Sometimes in our education, uh, we don't get any true beliefs put back in after the false beliefs are torn down. So we want to uh, think critically and constructively and you need a professor to help you with that. All right, so um, we also need discipline. Uh, someone who will teach us discipline, teach us how to think, teach us like uh, walk this way, you know, this is how you do it. Uh, so I'm going to encourage you to find someone like that in your life. And if you don't have anyone, I'll just keep making videos for you, okay? Um, you can always come take classes with me too at the community college. All right, so again, I want to wrap up this section on how to think. And uh, we've talked about a, uh, a method, the rational presuppositional approach, thinking about more basic things prior to less basic things. We talked about a map and the uh, logical options in, in the three areas of philosophy. And now I'm, I'm talking to you about getting a teacher, someone to help you work through these things, okay? And so this is uh, wrapping up how to think. All right, three videos, all connected. 
And thank you for listening, and I hope that you will like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.